Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Boy Swap Your Boom here with another mukbang video. What's going on? How are you? For shout outs, requests, and dedications, make sure to hit us up on all our social media platforms. That includes our most active social media platform, which is going to be two of them. It's going to be TikTok. Yes, I know I am an old man doing TikTok, but hey, let me tell you something. Thanks to y'all, it's been picking up. I got like 20,000 views on one stupid video, and I got like the other ones kind of suck. And that's about it. <laughs> Uh, oh, and if you want to check us out on Instagram, I always do like the, the triangle trifecta up in here. Um, I do a YouTube video. I show the food. I eat the food, but I also take pictures of the food um, in my place in the establishment and what we did and what we ordered and kind of like a behind the scenes thing. Uh, I also do a couple of funny TikToks about the food. Uh, today was a really cool day. I uh, got to hang out with a few folks and we went and got this. But if you want to check out all those behind the scenes things of me and my buddies just hanging out, getting this food, check us out on TikTok and check us out on Instagram. Uh, Love at First Bite vlog on Instagram and Suave Boom on TikTok. All, I'm going to leave all the information down below. Uh, that being said, all this food is getting really cold, but I'm going to go ahead and jump on it. Thank you so much, first and foremost, to everybody out there that's been supporting me um, in this lull of my career on YouTube here because, um, yeah, I got my teeth extracted. And I was out of commission for a while and I didn't want to eat anything. Um, my jaw isn't really in pain anymore, but it's still stiff. Um, as if you're just tuning in to this channel for the first time, um, I got four of my wisdom teeth extracted and three regular teeth extracted because the four wisdom teeth were just so bad that they were messing up the other regular teeth. So I had seven teeth extracted and needless to say it sucked um so i tried to do other things in the meantime and, and do like youtube shorts and all that crap but anyways i feel better i can eat um let's get into it so this is like a it's called peg leg it's in downtown nashville it's one of the more there's like a weird like there's edley's there's martin's there's peg leg there's like a few other ones, but these are like the touristy ones that everybody kind of has recommended for me to go. Uh, I already had a little bit there with when, with some buddies. I had a pork, pulled pork sandwich. It was really good. It's a Memphis style restaurant, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if Peg is going to watch this, but it's a dry rub, no sauce. I, it does come with sauce because, you know, you got to have the sauce a little bit. But I also got some uh, barbecue pulled pork nachos. I have some mac and cheese. I have some smoked green beans that look like it has like smoked bacon in it. Um, I also have some sweet tea. You can't have barbecue without sweet tea. I have a fried peach pie and I have some banana pudding. You gotta have banana pudding when it comes to any type of barbecue. Yeah. Oh, and uh, <laughs> Kool-Aid. That's the thing about Nashville. You'll go into like a taco place or a barbecue place or an Indian place or a like Chinese food, whatever. And they always have some kind of weird thing to make them stand out from everybody else. This, I took a TikTok of my buddy eating some of that Kool-Aid uh, pickles. I guess they just spear them up and they put them in a jar with Kool-Aid, red Kool-Aid. Anyways, we're about to get into this. Okay, I'm going to get a rib. Ooh. Me. Ow, 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 ow. It's hot. Is that a good thumbnail? Okay, let me just dive into this. Hmm. Yeah. I can see why my wife liked this. I'm big on classic saucy ribs. But this is very good. Fall off the bone. Very juicy. The seasoning is on point. 
and you know, I want to apologize for my chewing action. I'm going to be chewing kind of weird. I'm still getting in the habit of, uh, since my teeth extraction surgery, um, you know, I'm not saying it, y'all. Right, right. Let's try these green beans. A little bit of bacon on them. Mmm. Super soft. Good. It's just fresh, too. Oh my God. I, I'm actually really surprised on how good these are. You know, you always want to get like, when you get barbecue, you always want to get like the mac and cheese, the, the potato salad, or the baked beans. Um, I rarely get like the coleslaw or the regular green beans. It's just a filler. You know, I know I'm supposed to get my vegetables and meat and unhealthy, but I am very good. Let's try one of these nachos. Look at that. Look at that. Pulled pork nachos. So I brought Abby, oh, this is so good. I brought Abby these ribs for her lunch at work and she's into them because she's not really like, she's really the opposite of me. Like, I like saucy, she likes dry rub. She would not like these nachos because this has like tons of the fake cheese. Like there's the big drizzle of cheese dip. She's all about like real, like freshly shredded cheese that melts and stretches. I get that. But that cheese dipped up. Mmm. Eh. The nachos remind me of like, and this is no disrespect to, to Peg Leg. This is like, I because I, I, I love this, by the way, before I say what I say. I'm not a drinker anymore. But this is good, like, I'll go ahead and say bar food. But what I was going to say, because it sounded like I was disrespecting them for a second. What I was going to originally say is bowling alley food. I love bowling alley food, especially if you go to a nice bowling alley. You get like the nachos or like the wings or um, anything fried. Like this this tastes like an upgraded, really fancier version of nachos from a bowling alley. Like with the fake cheese, like the cheese dip, you know. Mmm. Next time, I'm just gonna do a video of these nachos. So good. That pulled pork. Mmm. The, by the way, a lot of this stuff is not spicy. I have this spicy sauce and I tried it at the restaurant earlier. This spicy hot sauce is not even, it's spicy barbecue sauce. It's not spicy at all. Well, at least for me. But if you're not into spice, it'd probably be hot for you. Let me try it on here. Look at that. You guys have no idea how much of I am I am in heaven right now. I 
haven't eaten the things I've wanted for a while. I've eaten like the first week since my surgery, mashed potatoes, like soft things like mac and cheese, oatmeal. It wasn't a big deal. It was okay, but I've been really craving stuff. I was, I've been craving barbecue in general since before my surgery and I just never got a chance to do it. That pulled pork, bro. Mmm. Not for nothing. If you come here and get peg leg ribs, get the pork, the pulled pork too. It's so soft. It's fatty enough. I don't like a lot of fat. I like a good amount of fat. I feel like this has turned into a ribs, um, a, a nachos video, not a ribs video. Sweet tag. Did I tell you about my sweet tea story back in the day? When I first moved down south, I remember this lady was like, what, what do y'all want to drink? And, uh, you know, they call Coke everything here. What kind of Coke you want? Sprite? Okay, I got you. So I just wanted an iced tea. Just remember what I said. I wanted an iced tea, right? Because iced tea in the Northeast, that's what it is, an iced tea. And it usually comes in like a peach flavor or a lime flavor or like, you know, and you could buy it in the gas station. It's called Arizona iced tea or like um, um, Nest, Nest tea or, it's, well, I don't know what it's called, but it's iced tea. It's just regular iced tea, right? I come down south, they're like, oh, you mean sweet tea? And I was like, yeah, but yeah, let me get one of those. Let me get an iced tea. Oh, you mean a sweet tea? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. What flavors of sweet tea do you have? Well, what do you mean? And I said, like, what flavors? Like lime, peach, what do you, raspberry iced tea? You know, what, what kind do you have? Uh, sweetheart, we got sugar. <laughs> I was like, what? She goes, yeah, the ingredients are sugar, ice, and tea. Like, just the, what? I was like, okay. And I tried it. I did not like it. And then one drunken night, I woke up and I was so hungover. And all I found in the fridge was a big jug of sweet tea. I chugged it. It was Milo's. And it was so delicious. And ever since then, I, I love sweet tea. Okay, I gotta at least try the mac and cheese. It's like the shells. All right, here we go, peg leg mac and cheese. That is a very good mac and cheese. That is a very good, legit mac and cheese. Oh my God. I'm really starting to realize I live in Nashville. I am. I'm really starting to realize, okay, when I lived in Alabama, it was a smaller town, Huntsville, you know, not that many options. I guess you don't have to go super quality stuff because I mean, what else, what other choice do you really have? You don't have that many options. When you live in a big city like Nashville, you're surrounded by competition. So you have to have, and you have, it's a tourist city. People come here from all over the world to visit. So your food has to be on point, right? I'm really starting to realize almost every establishment I've gone to has been a hit. No hit or miss, it's been a hit. Even that little stupid taco truck we went to down, down the street, I thought it was just gonna be a crappy little dirty taco bus. Delicious. It was quality, it was fancy. It was cheap. This wasn't cheap, but it was delicious. Mmm. Okay. 
had the ribs. Ribs were good. They weren't great. They were good though. Were they some of the best dry rub, rub, rib, dry rub, rib, rib, rib? That <laughs> yes, they were the best. Um, the nachos were a hit. That was my favorite thing. The nachos. And I mean, it's not. It's not the. It's the Mexican to me. I don't know what it is. Mac and cheese. I might just buy mac and cheese straight up, just like this, and make a mac and cheese video one day. Um, I'm not. I. I'm not gonna be a fan of this. Kool Aid pickles. I'm not even a pickle person like that. Like I like pickles, but I'm not like this. In the TikTok I made of my buddy Glenn telling me how good these were, he literally said, that ain't it, brother. That ain't it. So in the words of my boy Glenn, that ain't it, brother. <laughs> that was not, not hitting. It was, it was cool. It was cool to try out, but it, it was not hitting. No, no. It's cool. Try it. It's different. If you're a pickle person, you might like it. That ain't for me though. This might be though. You know I'm a sweet tooth kind of guy. Peach pie fried. Oh. Oh. I'm in heaven. This was that, man. I don't care if this video don't get a lot of views. It should. Because this is delicious. Guys. Peg leg. I, I'm gonna get, all right, five stars, right? Out of five stars, 4.5. 4.5 stars out of five. If you come to Nashville, you gotta go to Peg leg. Delicious, it's in the Gulch. That's the neighborhood, right outside of Broadway. Banana pudding. If you don't know about banana pudding, it's basically like vanilla pudding with banana flavoring. And then they also throw actual bananas in it. And then it has like a cream substance right here, like a whipped cream. And then it has like vanilla wafer cookies. Just in case you didn't know. Let's go in. Ooh. Big bite. Big bite. Am I going to like... I told y'all a while ago, Hattie B's Nashville Hot Chicken was pretty good chicken, right? But I said, what's the star of the show at Hattie B's is their desserts. They have a peach cobbler and they have a banana pudding. And I literally said in the video, without trying any... <laughs> without trying any other places at the time. This is the best banana pudding in the city. Well, 2018 Birdo, you're a liar. This is the best banana pudding in the city. All right. Good video. You like my backwards hat? I haven't had a haircut, so. Thumbs up the video, like it, thumbs down. If we don't, comment, subscribe, and we'll see y'all in the next mukbang. All right, y'all. Peace. Ugh.